But a massive outbreak linked to a YMCA summer camp where at least 260 people, most of them kids, got sick at an overnight camp in North Georgia. Now the CDC says this outbreak disproves that idea that kids aren't as vulnerable as adults to catching this virus. Our Glenn Counts joins us live now. And Glenn, this really highlights a lot of the concerns that parents have about kids going back to school. Well, you know, Genevieve, uh, parents already have a lot on their minds these days. And when you look at this camp situation, it crystallizes what can happen when you have a bunch of kids get together. There's a lot of pressure on parents like Rob Wilson as he debates sending his daughter Gabby to in-person learning. Are they going to go to school or are they going to do online? Um, most importantly, I want them to be safe and everybody else to be safe. Adding to that decision, an outbreak at a camp in Georgia where 76% of the staff and campers caught COVID. If it's happening in camps outside, I'm not sure how it's going to work inside our schools. Allie Tracy is with Red for Ed in York County. Her organization has been fighting with the governor. They believe that all learning should be virtual because they don't think it's safe to return to the classroom yet. She also says that people need to think about what will happen after school when kids just start to hang out again and how that could contribute to the spread. It's going to affect what happens in the school building as well because the kids are going to be hanging out with their friends and, you know, classmates they haven't seen since March outside of our building and it's going to affect what's happening inside our building. It's been full speed ahead with reopening the schools, although parents have a choice. Morrill Brown is a grandfather and he is worried about his granddaughter who will be going to preschool this year. My thing is to protect her the best I can. Yeah. So, you know, to keep her from going in gatherings with a whole bunch of different people coming from different areas and stuff like that. Well, there is some more food for thought coming out of the state of Louisiana tonight. Uh, a study there shows that 10% of all COVID patients are under the age of 18. That's actually a larger percentage than the percentage of elderly who catch it, which as we all know is the most vulnerable population. Genevieve? Yes, yeah, certainly a lot to consider there. Glenn, thank you. Well, the Y has run Camp Thunderbird at Lake Wiley this summer with lots of restrictions. Campers stay in small groups. Everyone has daily temperature checks and health screenings, and they can't use the dining or rec halls. There haven't been any reports of kids getting sick there.